What's up, my friends? This is Josh, PNW Truck Camper Guy. Uh, we're gonna do the 10 reasons why I like this truck or why I bought this truck video now. Just a little backstory. Um, in 2016, I finally found a truck. I had never had a big truck before, and I finally found the truck. I thought that I was gonna drive for a long time. This was a 1990, super clean, 1990 long bed extended cab f250 with the 7.5 liter gasser fuel injected 4x4 edition uh like, okay it checks a bunch of boxes that i need and i knew that i wanted to buy a truck camper someday and I had it in my head that i had to have an eight foot bed to do, really do a truck camper i don't want to do a little mini truck camper well it turns out you can get a legit truck camper for with a six and a half foot bed but that i was stupid back then blah 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 the thing is big it rides like hell you can't even put a double den in the damn thing it just anyway the wife the wife didn't want to ride it in. like i'd be like all right we need to take the truck and she'd be like i'm not going with I'd be like, Fuck, hey dude like why do we even have a vehicle if you're not going to ride in it and i've always wanted the lbv like <laughs> i did my homework and i was like my buddy has a 6.0 that he bulletproofed and it's it was like super fast so then i started looking for diesels and discovered the lbz it is like oh yeah that is to me, the LBZ is like the Magna Carta of of diesel trucks. I mean, I, like, oh, you get an LP5 and it's way better. Yeah, but I don't want emissions. On my, I, I want minimal emissions. I don't want the 2008 suite of emissions. So anyway, um, that leads me into reason number one why I got this truck. It's because the LBZ, it's like with the other Duramaxes, they had issues with head gaskets they had issues with overheating they had issues with injector but yeah they had big time issues with the lb7 and that and then the l l y uh, sorry i'm i didn't brush up on the exact i know it's like lb7 l o y l b z l m m l blah 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 lp5 and the lp5 makes like a thousand torque or something stock and like okay that's obviously the new shit that everybody wants but i don't want to pay eighty thousand dollars for a truck um and i also don't want emissions on my truck and i don't want to be that guy i don't want to be you like you know I, I i don't know i'm so modest yeah but i, I just don't want to have to i don't want to be the brand new truck millennial dude that blah blah, blah. like i kind of like having an older truck so I like this body style. This body style is the body style I grew up with. Like, man, 2007, I was 19 and 20 years old that year. You know, so that was the brand new truck when I was coming up. All right, so reason number two why I like this truck. And this is a conundrum because it's also a reason why I don't like the truck. But that analysis to me is worth putting on each video. What I like about the three-quarter ton trucks is they're a little bit more affordable than the one-ton trucks. Um, there's more of them and you can basically make a Frankenstein one ton, one ton truck. So the only difference between this truck and a single wheel one ton of the same is it has an additional overload leaf spring and then wheels and tires. This is the dually. If it's a dually, I don't even know if it has different wheels. It probably does. I don't know. I need to look that up. Comment if you know that. But it doesn't matter to me anyway, because I have addressed, those issues were addressed before I even saw this truck. Uh, should I put, should I say how much I paid for it? Um, I bought it in June of 2019. He was asking 24.2 is what was on there, but I think he would then, there was like another app where he was asking 23. I don't know. I offered him 18,000 for it cash. And he was like, can you go any higher? And I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go a little higher than that. I was like, I can do 19. Cause the wife was like, do not go over $20,000 for a truck. And I'm like, that's a great word. Duh, I don't wanna, I don't want $1,500 to make a difference between us getting the truck that we're gonna have for freaking 10, 15 years or not. But that's another story. So yeah, anyway, the dude was like, yeah, I can do 19. I'm like, oh, you're the man. Cause I looked at it, there's like no leaks and it's like just everything I wanted. I kind of wanted an eight foot bed, but now that I have the six and a half foot bed, I so like the six and a half foot bed. If I, if I really, really, really need to have an eight foot bed, guess what? I've done a freaking bed extender for 
I don't know, 100, 150 bucks, something like that. I didn't even put it in. I went to go put it in, and I was like, I don't need this. I'll put it in when I need to, and I haven't needed to yet. So if the day comes where I need to do eight foot panels of sheetrock or whatever it is, then I've got my bed extender if I ever want to do that, or I could just put it diagonally on the bed and tie it down. Blah, blah. So yeah, the six and a half foot bed's perfect because what, what that means is that the truck is 18 inches shorter than the eight foot bed. The eight foot bed, I mean, it's eight, it's 18 inches easier to maneuver this thing in drive-throughs and in parking lots and parallel parking and around a corner going up a mountain and in the mud or in this. Anyway, that's why I, I like the three quarter ton because it was affordable and it was available and it was uh, it already checks the boxes of a single wheel one ton with the upgrade to the suspend the suspension has super super something leaf springs and it has a five inch lift and it's got aftermarket shocks on it the tires get this the tires are ko's not ko2's ko's but they're in really good shape i think they sat somewhere for a decade because they're probably from damn near 20 years ago but there's still a lot of tread on them these wheels here i rated it up to 3600 pounds each so that's over 14,000 pounds total which i'm not going and then these tires are rated for 3195 each which is which is still more than i want although when i get tire upgrades i'm gonna get um load index 125 to match the wheels too so i can actually utilize because this rear end rear diff is good for up to 10,000 and that one is good for up to 5,600 so the truck itself minus the wheels and tires is good for up to 1,560 it's the six and a half foot bed have the tailgate taken off it for now just to save a little bit of weight on the truck camper and for it not to be in the way so those huge bump stops it actually damn near rides on bump stops when i got the truck camper on it but it rides good you'd think it rides like shit but on the bump stops it kind of just bounces around it's it's actually really comfortable but we're probably going to get airbags um, I know I complained about the slider back window, but it's also a benefit because I can still fit through it. I can still go through it. It's better than having one solid window that you can't access your trailer or escape. Um, it is the quad cab, regular extended cab or a standard cabin at work because I have offspring and I need to fit car seats legit back here and family and friends comfortably. Me and the boys have gone out shooting a couple times and we chose this thing to go out shooting with us. It's when I had a tonneau cover and we just threw all our shit on a rainy day inside the tonneau cover. And all the all the guys fit in here. You could fit six dudes in this thing. The three in the front. Boom. Had the skinny guy sit right there. Um, what I love about it, it's got remote start. Remote start's cool, but how it's even cooler is... I pair it, I pair my remote start with these two right here. So if you solve for X, that means that when I'm laying in bed up there and our fan or whatever has been running all night, we've been boondocking and I hear the beep from the inverter that says, ah, I'm running out the power. I can reach over, grab my key remote start and 40 amps 40 amps my dc dc charger runs right into my lithium battery that charges quickly another reason why this is great is it's got a back cam it's really useful because how this truck is set up the dude set it up in kind of a weird way but um, it makes it to where you can just select the backup cam anytime and it's not it doesn't come on when you're in reverse it comes on when you tell it to come on so i just go p 
camera view. There it is. I get to see behind me and it works that way when I'm driving down the road. I can just have that up and open. And with a truck camper and your change of lanes and your visibility is compromised, that's something that's really awesome to have. I'm the kind of dude that has to have a badass sound system too, so. It's got these custom boxes that fit under the seat here. And I'll keep, I was able to keep a bunch of shit back there. My tow rope. I tow people when it snows outside, it's hella fun. Yeah, a little bit of fun there. And it's got two amps hooked up to it too. And if you're a tweaker and you're watching this, I would not advise fucking with the truck. 